Welcome to Serialite Global's SunTracker 800 installation video. Here you will learn how to install a standard 8x4 triple mirror SunTracker 800. This video will take you step by step through the SunTracker 400 installation process for a roof ready application. This means that the roof holes have been cut, roof curbs have been built, and the curb flashing has been properly placed before you begin installation. First, we will assemble the SunTracker 800 light well. First, remove the protective film from each light well panel's reflective side. Then run single-sided insulating foam tape from top to bottom along both inside edges of the four corner braces. Arrange a dry fit of the light well assembly using the two long light well panels, two short light well panels, and four corner braces. Make sure the outward flange is at the top and the inward flange is at the bottom. Place a corner brace on the outside of each vertical corner edge. Make sure all light well panels and corner braces are even from top to bottom before screwing any panels together. Then, screw light well panels together through the foam tape of each corner brace into each light well panel. Place a screw within 2 inches of the top and the bottom then one screw every 8 inches in between. Repeat this for all four light well edges. Then, put together the light well cross brace. Put both L braces back to back along the shorter edge. Place a screw through the back to back L braces on each end. Place the cross brace exactly in the middle of the 8 foot light well with the flat edges flush on the bottom inner flanges. Apply silicone sealant to all eight sides of the bottom inner flange of the assembled light well. Then gently lower one bottom diffuser lens down into the bottom of each side of the light well and press the edges of the diffuser lens into the sealant. Each light well will have two bottom diffuser lenses. With the bottom diffuser lenses secure, lift the assembled light well over the curb and gently slide it down into the building interior. The top outward facing flanges of the light well should sit flush upon the top of the curb all the way around. Also, make sure to nail down the top flange of the light well to the top of the curb to ensure it stays in place after installation. Apply foam tape to the perimeter of the top of the light well on all four top outward facing flanges with the adhesive side down. Next, let's install the SunTracker 800 dome frame. Place the dome frame down upon the curb. Make sure the dome frame sits level on the curb before moving on. Screw the dome frame to the curb using the prefabricated holes on each of the four sides of the frame as guides. Now let's install the triple mirror vertical post. Proper installation of the post is one of the most critical parts of the SunTracker installation. If the post is not correctly installed, the sun tracker will not work to its fullest potential. On the sun tracker 800, the bolt and two nuts come pre-assembled from the factory on the dome frame crossbar. Take the bolt and place one lock washer upon it. Screw the post down onto the bolt almost all the way down. Apply a few drops of Loctite to the visible threads of the bolt. Adjust the vertical post until the flat side of the D-shape hole at the top of the vertical post is perpendicular to true south. Make sure to use true south and not magnetic south. 
We recommend you use a smartphone application for this. All digital applications will vary by service provider. Once the post is facing the correct direction, securely hold it in place and with the other hand, tighten the nut closest to the post until the post is firmly fastened from below. With the triple mirror post fastened, it's time to assemble the triple mirror and GPS system. Remove the protective film from each mirror's reflective side. Attach the largest sized mirror to the end of the mirror bracket's flat portion by aligning the mirror's brace to the bracket's prefabricated hole and putting a lock pin through the mirror's brace and bracket. The largest sized mirror's reflective side should face towards the mirror bracket's center cut holes. Attach the medium sized mirror to the center of the mirror bracket and the smallest sized mirror to the mirror bracket's curved end by putting a lock pin through each mirror's brace and the bracket. The medium sized and smallest sized mirror's reflective sides should face the same direction as the largest sized mirror. Take the GPS controller and slide its three posts through the top of the mirror bracket's center three prefabricated holes. Position the solar panel of the GPS controller towards the small mirror. Secure the GPS controller to the mirror bracket by tightening one thumb screw to each of the two screw posts protruding from the bottom of the GPS controller. Take the entire triple mirror array and slide the D-shaped GPS post inside the D-shaped hole at the top of the vertical post. With the triple mirror array, make sure to slide the post through the hole in the middle-sized mirror before placing the array upon the post. And finally, it's time for the dome. Remove the frame retainer cap from the dome frame and place the plastic dome onto the dome frame. The edges of the plastic dome should be parallel and evenly distributed over the weather stripping of the frame. Be sure the edges extend beyond the weather stripping on each side. Place a line of silicone sealant approximately a half inch from the dome's edge around the entire dome. Then replace the frame retainer cap over the outer perimeter of the dome and frame. And finally, screw the frame retainer cap down to the dome frame. Make sure to screw through the middle etching along all four outer sides of the frame retainer cap into the dome frame. Use four self-tapping screws on each of the two short sides of the dome frame retainer cap and eight self-tapping screws on each of the two long sides. Congratulations! You have successfully installed a Serolite Sun Tracker 800.